All right, Victor here, historymercedes.com again. Now this is a 1996 S600 Coupe V12. Very nice condition, black on black. Has some issues, what have you. Oh, wait a minute. That shouldn't be the car. We shouldn't be talking about the V12. Uh, what we're going to look at is uh, this little thing here. This is a 1991 190E. <laughs> yes. Breaking ranks. I, like I said, always work on the big engines, big cars, 140s and stuff. But this is a 190E here. So, 2.6 inline 6. Um, it has 250,000 miles. And it appears that it was repainted. So, let's just go over a good stuff, right? It's just the good stuff. And the reason for this particular machine being here. Now, I found this car <clears throat> locally, and um, I was like, you know, it's not running. I mean, it runs and drives very slightly, but not properly. So, I found it locally, and I looked at it. I was like, it has to be saved because these cars, there's so few of them around. And uh, because I'm used to V12s, I see so many V12s. Some people say, oh, you know, you work on the more rare cars. Yeah, I, I understand. But, you know, 190E, this is a little baby Benz that you don't see driving around pretty much any anywhere. It's like, you know. So um, let's go start with the good thing. Um, the car is all there. Uh, yes, obviously, we have some issues here. Um, the trim here on the trunk is missing a little oxidation going on on the actual trunk uh, button here the rivets on the license plate holders are broken uh, a little crack on the light here right there there is a gouge here there's some sort of like a fender bender right um what is I guess I should have started with the good things, but I'm going for the bad ones right away. That's just like my eye is strained like that just to go for the bad stuff. Um, that is that. The tires seem to be okay. Brakes are low. Um, the, you know, common trims, uh, they, um, they lift up, you know. Crack on the windshield, okay. Mirrors, plastics, absolutely solid. Very, very stiff. No good to be replaced. Some scratches here and there, but again, this is a 1991 with all these miles on it. So, in this condition, this is actually very good condition. So it has issues, don't get me wrong, but nonetheless. Star is missing. Uh, crack on the grill here a little bit. The grill itself is like all kind of uh, whatever. Um, we have a decent bumper. There is a dimple on the hood here. Uh, like, I don't know, something probably was left under the hood and it was closed and then it just popped through. The mirror on this side, the plastic is softer, uh, but nonetheless, probably would be a good idea to replace both. Now, this lock didn't work, all right? So this was a um, bad lock. Would, just the key would not, in, would, would not be able to, you know, it won't even go in, so I got it freed up. The antenna mast is bad whatever now it appears to me that this car was repainted at some point of time because I can see if you look closely I'm not gonna even use a depth meter but you can see an outline from the tape so yes there was some paint paint job in the past sometime I don't know when it was painted but nonetheless I see it right what well, is an original color Blau Schwartz, it's called 199, I believe. Um, that's what it is. And then I guess it was painted many, many years ago because all these little damages they don't show up after, like you know, recent paint job. This is the paint job was done a while back, but it seems to be done pretty good. I don't see any kind of sign of accidents, but it, you know, it doesn't matter for this particular vehicle at this point because it's just what it is. So central locking works. So I can actually put the key in here and open the car. And we have a three-pedal car, you know, stick shift, five-speed. Now, it's not a sport line, uh, but uh, nonetheless, because it's this, you know, manual transmission, uh, that's a pretty cool thing. Interior, yes, the leather on seats 
and the seat itself and this is flat that's to be dealt with a bolster here a little bit of wear well again this all look original this is amazing how it actually survived in this condition somebody looked after it so that's a very good thing the dashboard is good the rear view mirror is loose yeah that's that sunroof works dome light switches are messed up um, the contact points are bad headliner seems to be good third brake light is in place and seats move even air conditioner tried to actually work the wood trims are also good and that's also kind of a strange fact steering wheel maybe it was redone because i don't know so many miles and the steering wheel is still kind of decent cluster and all that is good uh, the vents here are loose yeah so that what um lots of door paneling coming up you know a little bit lifting up a little bit here and there oh yeah look at that door panel this thing is like not even secured i didn't even look but um because the problem is what's bothering me right now <clears throat> it's the problem with this car well like i said before we go to the problem and uh, because i gave the hint about that this car actually drives a little bit you can kind of sense the problem already because it's kind of common on these supposedly um now in the engine bay the oxygen sensor is dead again this is like my preliminary look i mean i cannot uh, do air fuel ratio so that's dead the um, brake fluid is uh, dirty it has to be replaced it seems like the engine had some work done to it uh, the oil leak is kind of not huge which is also kind of strange but you can clearly see silicone here so somebody did the reseal somebody resealed this engine and maybe it was actually um, redone or a rebuild or what have you the air pump smoke pump is removed a regular pulley is installed here the that's the solenoid for that for this uh, air pump which is blocked off this one i blocked off this is egr i don't care for the gr batteries not secured it's just sitting there all right whatever at least it works coolant expansion tank is leaking as you can see a little bit of residue there that's a coolant tank a leak that's to be replaced uh, it appears to be there are no ma major vacuum leaks um, that's a good thing and uh, shroud is missing here but again doesn't matter uh, this piece is missing the piece that goes from the air cleaner to the air intake all right so this thing is a little it, like i said this is not uh, it's like all these things yes it takes a lot of time to get everything in order but first things first now um, that thing is uh, you know the uh uh, the um, hood insulation mat is breaking into pieces. That's a common thing on these posts for the air cleaners For the air cleaner are broken. They're not there at all. It's just like it just lays there and um, Spark plugs they were wrong ones and I put in also wrong ones, but the proper ones are on order So I replaced the spark plugs with the right ones the AC was converted with just the adapter here so everything seems to be original r12 it doesn't work there's a leak somewhere in the system but at least the compressor seems like it was activating but and the die wasn't you know was installed i mean it was introduced to the system in 2019 that's what the sticker says i guess the ac didn't work ever since then and and that's basically for now that's enough that's enough for now that is there is an exhaust leak uh, the actual resonator is all messed up it's rattling like crazy catalytics were removed with the straight pipe okay well it is what it is rear exhaust the muffler itself that was replaced with some muffler kind of recent i guess but the resonator is shot yeah that's that so you know like i said some scratches here and there brakes are low now let's start the engine see how it runs it hasn't been started well, i would say maybe a good like 
16, 17, 18 hours or so. Yeah, the driver see this making kind of like this bizarre sound. <clears throat> oh yeah, I did that. I had to do this first. The shifter was up uh, like absolutely stuck. It would just like go, you know, like a first gear. I mean the second gear and and the third, uh, like three and four rather. I'm sorry, three and four, and to go to like first and second, you know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, right? And then reverse. So this doesn't seem to be a dog leg, but shifter didn't move in this axis. So I had to take the shifter off. And while I was taking the shifter off, I went underneath, get the shifter to be unclipped from the linkages and the bushings seem to be replaced that's a good thing so linkages bushings are done and not yesterday or anything a few years back but at least they're done so that's a good thing and here uh, the bushings does doesn't seem to be too bad so i lubricated it make it move so yeah it kind of kind of like wiggles a bit but i don't care for that right now the panel was removed because the window switch was bad so i just swapped the window switch for now just to get the driver's window to work the radio seems to work believe it or not it does yes um speakers are kind of shot but nonetheless at least the radio is operational and there is really nothing else in this vehicle because this is a very basic machine and um, this is cis injection car of course so we'll start it up this is the first start for the day And it fired right up. Get the e-brakes on. As you can see, it fired right up. The idle speed will correct. That's also a good thing. Right? And that's that. And that's our exhaust leak. And the rattle. You know, the exhaust will be something last, but I kind of have a feeling that the attachment point to the pipe itself, because it was clamped there, I looked at it, it's clamped, but it was clamped crooked, so maybe it's not sealing too well, but that resonator has to go, there's no way, it's just terrible. I gotta change the oil for sure, for some thicker oil, because you hear a bunch of noises. Terrible. All right, so while it's warming up, is the mystery, like, what's wrong with this car? And what's wrong with it is differential. Differential failed. So now, it locks up. When you try to move it, it locks up. The actual, the input shaft on the differential, that thing is moving like crazy. I took a look at it, it's horrible. Uh, probably bearings went, something like that not really cool uh this differential is the regular one uh 3.27 ratio that's what i saw on the case and um it's like first thing is first it has to move it barely moves uh so before anything else is addressed to it you know anything addressed like it's exhaust and whatever other things the differential so the next job for this car will be removing the differential, opening it up and see what is the damage is because finding another differential for this is kind of difficult, actually very difficult and very expensive. The idle speed is lowering down, so idle speed control works. You see the idle went down a little bit because it warmed up. And I definitely need to do something with the oil because you got lifter sound, the lifter noises. It's like, I also hear that, that's not cool at all. Um, it seems like somebody did some engine work because you see valve stem seal it appears to be right it was just laying there yeah you can hear the lifters oh yeah, that's quieting down but anyway i have to run some and it's quieting down right now but anyway i don't like that but that's just going to be the next thing because the idea was to put in 3.2 liter engine in it but first things first Make it move, make it drive it as, as it is, and then uh, 
yeah that's it lifters are not they're filled up basically right oh that's the rattle kind of hideous sound I tell you this is ridiculous to be honest um, so yeah this is basically the plan uh, but I have so many other cars I have that I have to fix up so this is gonna be sort of like a differential remove checked out and then um, opened up and then see what can be done with it and that's basically the idea so the idle speed is going down obviously I can't drive with the exhaust like this that's that's the thing it's just this is horrible um, it also comes with the manual believe it or not it's still there original some trim pieces that are missing seems like they're in the trunk I didn't didn't look yet but um, there are a few things laying here let's see uh, that uh, seems to be the front wheel well covering all right fine the trunk has some parts here some clean supplies a little bit of coolant because it's leaking climate control um, cover for the the um, air cleaner filter looks to be in better shape than the one that's in the vehicle spark plug covering you got the rear suspension lower control arm rear lower control arm covers yeah see I don't see a plastic that goes above like a knee bolster rather yeah i don't see it here huh? and that's a bummer all right i got some seals here the trunk seal is here maybe it's i mean i don't know it's, this is the second day i just got it so i don't i didn't even look into the car into the details i just washed it because it was very filthy it sat unwashed for like months so therefore i clean i washed it a little bit because see that these areas they're not washed and they're pretty pretty dirty in there but the rest of the car cleaned up decently well we're talking about 1991 I mean the, the mileage it's like the glass is good it's you can't you can't expect this car to be ideal unless it's like it is you know unmolested this is all original it doesn't seem to be molested uh, but um, something restored yes fine or like low mileage super low mileage garage kept vehicle this seems to be a runner and that's the reason for the mileage and for the mileage you can say well listen this is a extremely extremely well survived vehicle so and it looks pretty presentable all right so I'm going to finish this video at on this note because um, I have to move along with things I'm going to install a keyless entry in this because I don't want to use the blade the seal is bad so yeah the differential is going to be a job in a half because um, well not job in a half it's a job you know it's just a job whatever and then the rest of the vehicle the whole car is a job in a half that's the thing because there's so many little things that are wrong with it and it seems like it's just okay well it looks good I mean it's gonna be fine and you can just drive it as this yes you can but it's not going to be right exhaust is just one of the jobs that's for sure um it seems like there was some work done the control arms uh, the the bushings and i mean sh the shock absorbers seem to be a newer ones bill steins in it so yeah there's somebody who drove this car they drove it and drove it and drove it until the french and failed and it's it's the end of it now so and i got it and i'm gonna deal with differential all right so very long introduction video many things i probably did not cover in this video so I can't um, you know maybe I'm missing something because again this is a first initial look but so far so good um, in terms of like you know I was really scared about transmission failure but transmission seemed to seem to be okay and like I said it still rolls but extremely slow because differential is all loose it just jumps around in there so I don't want teeth to break so I'm gonna have to do something about it well we'll get to that when i start working on it and that's gonna be in the upcoming videos all right so this would be all and that's me again it's victor at restoringmercedes.com thank you for watching